as I mentioned earlier before, the wallet ID is the account name. EOS introduces the concept of an account. So the EOS transaction address is not der derived from the private key. So in EOS, the private key is used simply to generate a transaction signature and not to generate the transaction address. For example, unlike Bitcoin or Ethereum, where the private key generates the public key and authorizes the, transa the transactions. However, it is still important to have access to your private key and save it. Keep your private key on a safe place because it will allow you to keep your funds if something happens to your wallet or to your data. So imagine that something happens that you lose your phone, you lose your wallet password, you lose something. It may happen, things happen. If you keep the private key, you will be able to recover the funds you have in the wallet. So it's very important. Now, let's explain what are resources and what is CPU, Net and RAM. CPU, NAT and RAM are concepts unique to EOS that have been imported from the computer vocabulary. These are the resources on which EOS products and services are built. Just a brief explanation. The CPU refers to the processing power to use on the EOS network, while the NAT refers to the network bandwidth allowed. The RAM serves to store the RAM serves to store data on the blockchain. Users need RAM to register new EOS accounts and to add information to their accounts. While DApps, decentralized apps, will use RAM to store their application status information so it is quickly available when needed. In both cases, RAM is used to store anything and all the information in the EOS blockchain. This may sound confusing. It is okay if you do not understand uh, right away what this means, th th because this is the theory, okay? But this is important for you to have an understanding of the concepts. Either way, I will show you how to, to use it on the wallet. I will show you how to buy AMZ as an example. So you will see what you need, in fact, uh, to use about the CPU, the net or the RAM, about the resources. OK. Now that we have talked briefly about the main features of the EOS blockchain, let's understand what makes Wombat different from other wallets. To start, Wombat supports three blockchains, EOS, Telus and Ethereum. It also allows for multiple wallets. This means you can have a Wombat account with multiple wallets among the different supported blockchains. So you can have a wallet EOS, a Telus wallet, and then the Ethereum wallet, for example. Wombat is a wallet, a EOS wallet, yes, but it is also a gateway to games based on the blockchain technology in this case, on the EOS blockchain. About resources, Wombat has its own resource pool. This is a very valuable addition for the user because this means that every time you make a transaction, Wombat co-signs the transaction, which allows Wombat to be charged by the CPU instead of the user. What does this mean? It means that any time you do a transaction, you will not need to buy CPU, CPU one bet as that covered, up to five transactions per day. So you have five free transactions per day. This on the one bet wallet as it is. Okay. Then you have the possibility, Wombat also offers a premium service where you can have up to 50 free transactions per day, up to 50 transactions. Um, just a note, 
that Wombat is actually the only else wallet that you can have completely free. You do have this premium option, but the wallet in itself is free. The premium option, just for you to know, it's one dollar, so it's it's quite cheap, it's quite affordable, and the main uh, characteristic is this one: the 50 transactions per day. If you want to buy directly crypto in Wombat, okay, imagine that you want to buy AMZ with uh, euros or dollars that you want to directly on Wombat, that is not possible. Wombat does not uh, accept fiat money. Fiat is, cre uh, is euros, dollars, the more, let's say, to simplify the common money, the more used, the, the, the normal money. The um, Wombat, as an alternative, suggests, Wombat itself suggests Coinbase, but what you can do is use any centralized exchange and then send to Wombat. So let's give you an example. You can, uh, using the Coinbase uh, example, you can uh, have a Coinbase account, you can uh, use your euros, dollars, or whatever currency to buy else. Then you can send your else to Wombat and in Wombat, you will be able to trade else for AMZ. How? With the new DEX. New DEX is the biggest this decentralized exchange on the EOS blockchain and it is linked directly within Wombat. So inside Wombat you have a direct connection with NewDex. Okay. But I will show you now on the practical. Okay, so this is for you to have the concepts and to understand the features behind the wallet. So now let's see how to open an account. Wombat is available for Android, as you can see here. So you have the app for Android. You have available for iOS, so for iPad and iPhone, as you can see here on the example. And there is the plugin for the Google Chrome. So Wombat does not have a desktop uh, application, but it does have the plugin for Google Chrome. You can see it here. I will show you in a bit. Because most people manage their wallets on their mobile phone, on their phones, and uh, they use phones most of the time, I will show you how to open the account and how to use Wombat on Android. However, the Wombat application is exactly the same in all three versions, as you will be able to see. There may be slight difference of settings in some versions, but we will get there, okay? But it's mostly the same. So let's go to Android. Okay, so on the Android, on your phone, first you will need to install the app. So you go to the Play Store as you would normally, and all you need to do is search for Wombat, okay? Simply search Wombat, it will show you right away the first option, the Wombat
<laughs> and then it, it so after you put the pin it will save and then you will confirm that you want to create a new account so you can create a EOS or a Telus account on uh, the most recent version it will uh, also show you the ethereum account because you can have uh, ethereum accounts now with wombat so now you choose your account name the account name is like i told you previously it's the wallet id so it needs to be exactly 12 character characters with letters from a to z and numbers from eight to one to five if you want but it needs to be 12 characters okay so you can write something easy for you to remember as well for you to know later because this is your wallet now so this is information you need for your transactions you press on create account and now it will ask you for a cloud. This happens with Wombat because Wombat wants to make the private key less needed, let's say that way. So for you to have your wallet safe in the cloud, you have the option to do the backup on the Google Drive or on Dropbox. If you use Android, you will have a Google account because it's mandatory. So you will have the Google Drive. And that's the backup that I will choose. Uh, bear in mind that, uh, like I explained to you before, it's still important for you to keep the private key in case if something happens with the cloud, with the backup. Okay, so it's loading. You need to allow Google. And now it will create the account. So you just need to wait little bit and it will confirm that the account is created okay so just a few seconds and that's it it's uh, created the account so you could see it's pretty simple to create an account just following a few steps and you can press in any of these it's the same it will give you the the app okay so let's take a brief look to the interface. On the home page, as you can see, it shows games. Like I told you, the uh, Wombat, uh, the focus, besides being a wallet, is being a gateway for games. So it shows you several um, games here that you can um, use with the goal. The goal of these games from the EOS blockchain, most of them, is for you to earn crypto in some way. Okay, just for you to have an idea, just uh, information. Here you have your wallet. These are the tokens that show by default because are the ones related to the blockchains, but you can add other tokens. You just simply go to add token. In our case, we are talking about AMZ. So you can see that AMZ is right on the top. You just select AMZ, confirm, and it show on the list, okay? Uh, before we get to how to buy AMZ, I want to show you a couple of things on the settings. The first and most important, the keys and the counts. You can come here, choose else, and you will have the information of your account. You have the account name, you have your public key, and you have your private key. As you can see, it is free. Okay. Most, all, most, no, all of the else wallets are paid and you can buy the wallet and have the private key for free with the wallet but you pay with the wallet with wombat it is completely free the wallet and you can have the private key for free i'm going to show it to you so for you to see how it works but your private key is private so never share it with anyone because then someone can enter on, on your account, okay? So your private key is only for you to know, and it's important for you to keep it and save it, because imagine that you lose your phone, you lose your Google account or your Dropbox account, 
and you have the money in your wallet, right? So if you have the private key, you can still recover it. So it's very important. Still, it's very important to keep the private key. Either way, Wombat does offer the premium service which offers you like i explained you uh, in the beginning uh, up to 50 free transactions per day it's only one dollar but you do have the free option now let's go to the wallet to buy amz like i told you before as well wombat does not have the possibility to put to buy directly with fiat with dollar with euros with any other currency here with the buy crypto it will send you to another exchange it's a little bit complicated wombat does suggest uh, coinbase so what you can do is coinbase or binance or any other centralized exchange you can simply do let me give you an example you can have your coinbase account you buy EOS with your bank information and then you send your EOS to this wallet. Okay, so what do you do on Coinbase? You put send EOS, you select the amount and then you send it to your account name. Okay, so that's why it's important to know the account name and then you will need to write something on the memo. Like I explained to you, if you don't put something on the memo, you will lose your money from Coinbase to Wombat. It's certain if you don't put the memo, you will lose the funds. So there's no need for that. Be careful and do not forget the memo. But Coinbase does show a pop up remembering, uh, say, warning, please put something on the on the memo. So be careful. OK, so. I just send uh, some to the, the Wombat wallet and as you can see, it was really fast. It was right away. So that's one of the things that is very good on EOS. It's how fast the transactions are. Now to buy AMZ, all you have to do is go to here, down here to exchange and it will open directly to new decks. Like I told you before, Wombat is connected directly to the biggest EOS decentralized exchange. So it goes directly to new decks. There's a few ways to do the same thing on new decks, but one of the fastest way to go directly to AMZ is here, you have market, you choose market. And here on the magnifying glass, you can search for AMZ, you choose AMZ and you have buy. Okay, so to keep things simple, that's the goal here, you'll have the option. It's loading, let's just wait a moment. When you press buy, it shows you this menu and to buy it at the current price, at the market price, you go here and you select market. Okay, then here you will put how much AMZ you want to buy in EOS. Or you have here the available balance you have on the Wombat wallet. This shows what you have on the Wombat wallet. You can put here how much you want. Or they also have the option here of choosing 25%, 50%, 75% or 100%. That's what I'm going to do. So we will buy all the EOS that we just sent to the Wombat, we will buy it to AMZ. And it will show you a message. Let's wait a, a moment. It will confirm that the CPU is covered. This is because of the resource pool. So Wombat is covering the CPU for us. We do not need to go and buy CPU. It is covered. So all we need to do is confirm. And that's it. We have our AMZ bot. And that's it. It shows us that it was successful. So we go back and you will see that the AMZ is, we just need to update the wallet and the AMZ will show right away. Okay, so let's just update the page. Okay, and here you see it's already available the amount. 
So you can see that it was very easy, very intuitive, very user friendly, and it was fast. So these are all advantages to Wombat and to the blockchain, to the EOS blockchain. This is one of the reasons that why we wanted to start with the Wombat wallet, because it's easy to understand. You don't need to have much knowledge about cryptocurrency, about wallets, about blockchain in general. It is very intuitive. Okay. So now I want to show you what if you want to send money from a wallet to another wallet. Okay. So you go to AMZ in this case. Imagine that you want to send AMZ to your INB account, for example. All you need to do is click on send. You put here the receiver. What is the receiver? It's the account name of the account that you will send to. Okay. So you can send, for example, to an account. You put the amount and then the memo. You need to write something on the memo. Okay. Remember. You put confirm and here it will show a message that is covered. Okay. You confirm and it, th that is it. Okay. In this case, it's not allowing me to do so because I just opened the account. So if you remember, I told you that the RAM is used to open an account. So we used already RAM today. So in this case, it's not allowing me to do so, but if uh, I try tomorrow, it will allow me to do this transfer and up to five. Okay, up to five transactions in total. Uh, just for you to know as well, uh, note to note that may be important here where it says transfers, it will show you the history of all of your transactions. This is important because if you remember yesterday on the Explorers webinar, we also showed about the hash code. Every, every transaction that you do will have an hash code. The hash code may be important to find first to find the, the transaction on the blockchain. This may need it, uh, for example, for you to understand an example. Imagine that you do send uh, a transfer, you send AMZ to INB, for example, and you forget to put the memo. What we do in that case is we use the hash code to find the transaction and to, to solve the issue. Okay, so the hash code is also important to know for you to know that it may be helpful for it's good to know. <laughs> okay. Um, in general, this is what you need to know on the wallet. Just before we fi we finish, I want to show you just briefly the desktop plugin. The desktop top plugin here, just for you to see, it's exactly the same. As you can see, it has the exchange. If I press here, because it's a computer, it will open the website of the new Dex. You have the settings. You can check your account, you can check your account name. So it is exactly the same. Uh, just a note that may happen in some devices, in some models, uh, on the phone as well. It may only show you wallet and settings. If that happens, if you want to buy AMZ or another token, all you need to do is click on the token and select trade, or you can go directly to new Uh Just for you to know as well, um, I think I already mentioned it, but just to be sure, on the plugin, instead of the pin, it will ask you to put a password to log it. And that is it in general. This is how the Wombat wallet works. I believe that we have covered anything, but if you have any questions, let's go now to the questions and clarify any doubts that you may have.